Hello friends, welcome back to another AI tutorial. My name is Iman. This is Iman Global YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a powerful text to video and image to video platform that can unleash your creativity simply by typing. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube channel. Without learning complex software like 3D Max, Maya, or Cinema 4D, you can now easily create stunning animation and cinematic videos using Pika Labs AI. Whether you want to make animation videos for YouTube, social media, or any other projects, this is the perfect option for you. You no longer need to spend a lot of time creating animation videos with Pika Labs. This Pika Labs AI is free, has no subscription fees, no daily limits, and doesn't require extensive technical knowledge. In this tutorial, I will introduce you to the completely free Pika Labs AI tool for creating animation videos. By the end of this tutorial, you'll understand how to set up the Pika Labs AI tool and get started creating your own animations right away. I'll cover the important settings to help you achieve great results with Pika Labs. So if you want to learn animation on a budget of $0, this Pika Labs video is for you. Let's get started without wasting any time. Pika Labs is a free AI video generator that allows you to use text or image prompts to create short videos. How to use Pika Labs AI? Just head to their homepage, pika.art, scroll down, and hit Join Beta to embark on this creative journey. Join Pika's Discord server to access generation rooms and start prompting using the Pika bot or text. Scroll the left menu, and you'll reach the creation section. In this section, there are 10 rooms available for generating videos, and you can choose any of them as you wish. In each room, many people are actively generating videos. You can even play and watch videos created by others. PicArt has both text-to-video and image-to-video features. Let's start with text-to-video and create our first prompt. At the bottom of the page, there is a text box that can be used to input prompts for text-to-video. To access commands in the text box, press the slash key on your keyboard. A list of commands will be displayed. I choose the create command. Now, there is a space in the text box for inserting descriptions. I start with a simple prompt, for example, a cute girl taking photos on the street. After entering the prompt in the text box, I click outside of the prompt area and press the enter key. The command is now queued. As you can see, my prompt is highlighted in yellow to distinguish it from other people's prompts. After a short while, this text will be transformed into a video. Now my video is ready and I play it. You should provide more details in the prompt section to achieve better results. If you're not satisfied with the outcome, by clicking the variation button, your prompt will be placed back in the queue, and new, diverse variations will be generated based on it. I click on it multiple times. Now several of my prompts are in the queue, and we can scroll down the page to see them. These prompts will be transformed into videos after a short period. Let's explore the text to video results together. You can add more details in the prompts and provide additional information about the location, color schemes, backgrounds, and foregrounds to tailor the generated videos more closely to what you need. When you type more details in the prompts, AI by Pika Labs definitely takes all of them into account, and the text to video results will undoubtedly be astonishing. In this section, we'll teach you about the image to video feature of Pika Labs Artificial Intelligence. First and foremost, you'll need an image to convert into a video or animation in this section. At the bottom of the page, there's a text box for entering prompts. I press the slash key on the keyboard to reveal the list of commands. Here, I click on create. In the prompt box at the bottom, I write down the desired actions, which in this case are talking, smiling, blinking. I click outside the prompt box. In this state, the image option is presented to us. I click on it. And now, with another click on the new page that opens, I can select and upload the desired image from my computer's hard drive. In this state, I click the enter button. The prompt is added to the queue. And after a while, this prompt is transformed into a video. Please note that this was a simple prompt, and we will continue to complete the tutorial. Let's go ahead and play and review the video. The character's eyelids open and close, but the result could be improved. We can even view the video in a larger size in Pika Labs and review it. A bit further, in the next stage of this tutorial, I will teach you how to apply camera movements and additional settings to your prompts to achieve better results. In the top right section of the video frame, there's a download button. I click on it to save this video. Now, we can use the variation button from Pika Labs to request diverse versions of the same prompt. I click on this button several times. Our prompts are placed in the queue, and after a while, they are transformed into videos. Let's review the new results of the image to video. 
Please note that the videos we generated using Pika Labs were the results of very simple prompts. In your own prompts, you should provide much more details to make the final results closer to your needs. In this regard, please check out the other videos on my channel. With the two methods I've taught you, text to video and image to video, you can now create animations or cinematic videos in various styles using AI without limitations and for free. Easily edit them in editing software and get your output. In this section, we explore the optional parameters of Pika Labs Artificial Intelligence. These parameters include camera, frames per second, motion, guidance scale, negative prompt, and aspect ratio. By controlling these parameters, you can achieve cinematic and artistic results. I will explain all of these parameters, and then we'll generate an example using these parameters. Videos are static and lifeless without camera movements. With Pika Labs AI, you have the power to effortlessly craft captivating camera movements for your videos. The key to achieving this lies in the camera parameter. By including this parameter in your prompts, you gain the ability to dictate actions like zooming in or out, as well as panning right or left, providing you with precise and flexible camera control. Rest assured, this parameter seamlessly integrates into your prompts. And in the next example, I'll walk you through how to employ the camera parameter effectively. Unlock the power of control within Pika Labs AI as you take the reins of your video's pace with the FPS parameter. This dynamic parameter accepts numerical values between 8 to 24, with the default setting being 24 FPS. The frames per second you select will have a profound impact on the fluidity of your video. Whether you desire a cinematic glide or a brisk narrative, this parameter empowers you to fine-tune your video's tempo, ensuring your creative vision comes to life with precision and grace. In Pika Labs AI, you can easily control the level of motion. You can precisely fine-tune the intensity of motion in your video content using this versatile parameter. It offers values from 0 for static scenes to 4 for a dynamic and energetic feel. The motion parameter allows you to shape your video's narrative, ensuring that each frame aligns with your creative vision based on the exceptional results achieved with Motion 2. The user has control over the guidance scale in Pika Labs AI using the GS parameter. This parameter adjusts the guidance scale, where higher numbers make the output more related to the input text. The parameter accepts numerical values, typically between 8 to 24, with 12 being the default value. In summary, the GS parameter allows the user to fine-tune the AI's adherence to the input text when generating outputs higher values lead to more on-topic results, while lower values allow more creativity. The user can adjust the aspect ratio in Pika Labs AI using the AR parameter. This sets the width-height ratio for video Video outputs. The parameter accepts two numerical values separated by a colon, such as 16 colon 9, 9 16, 1 colon 1, or 4 colon 5. The default aspect ratio is 1024 to 576. For example, AR916 would be ideal for vertical video content optimized for TikTok or Instagram stories. Specifying AR16 colon 9 would be better suited for widescreen YouTube videos. In summary, the AR parameter provides full control over aspect ratio, enabling the creation of properly framed videos tailored for each platform's preferred dimensions. This makes the AI extremely versatile for generating multi-platform video content from the same input text. Now, with the parameters we've learned, we're going to perform an AI-powered image-to-video exercise using Pika Labs. At the bottom of the page, click on the text box. In the text box, press the slash key on your keyboard to open the command menu. In this section, click on the create option. Here, I write the prompt talking, smiling, blinking highly detailed. Now, I set the guidance scale to 10 using the GS parameter. I set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 using the AR parameter to have a widescreen view. I adjust the frames per second to 24 with the FPS parameter for smooth motion. I assign the motion parameter to 2 because experience has shown that this value provides better motion. Additionally, using the camera parameter, I create a gentle zoom out motion from the scene. Now, I click outside the prompt area. From the drop-down list, I select image. I choose and upload the desired image from my hard drive. Afterward, I click the enter key. Our prompt goes into the queue, gets highlighted, and after a short while, it transforms into a video. While the prompt is in the queue, I click the variation button multiple times to add diverse modes of this prompt to the queue as well. The videos have been generated. Let's watch them. Camera zoom and eye blinking animations have been applied. By clicking the variation button, you can even achieve better results. In the next video, there are also camera zoom and eye blinking animations. In this tutorial, I provided a detailed guide on creating cinematic animations and videos using the text-to-video 
and image to video features of Pika Labs artificial intelligence. We even discuss some of the parameters of Pika Labs. If you've learned something new from this tutorial, the least you can do is like the video. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support the channel, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. There are many more AI tutorials coming up, so hit the notification bell to be alerted when the next videos are released. I'll see you in the next video.